What's up everybody? Today I want to talk about something that I really think it deserves its own video that we touched on a little bit in a past video. And that's how to approach holes that you've never played before. Um, if, you, th if this... That's why you don't take two weeks off. What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about something that we touched on in a past video, but I think it really deserves its own video. So. It has to deal with when you're playing in courses and holes that you've never played before. Or maybe you have an arid shot that sends you out to the part of the course that you've never seen before. Uh, how do you approach those situations? How do you approach throwing where you've never thrown before? There's a Star Trek reference in there somewhere. I know it. Anyways, the, it's really simple and it's how I approach it. And when I tell other people it, it's kind of like... That, that, that simple tip that they kind of go like, don't, I should have known that. And it really helps them out and it helps me out. So I figured it'll help you guys out. Uh, if you've been playing for more than a month or so, if, if you have, you know, one or two courses under your belt, you know, a couple courses, chances are you've probably played in, played just about every shot this golf has to offer within the basic shots. You know, that doesn't take into account for elevation or anything crazy like that. But you've thrown a 300-foot hyzer, 300-foot turnover, a straight tunnel shot. Um, this You've thrown a ton of different shots. And all that knowledge is stored up here. It, it, and all that confidence in throwing those shots are in your discs. You know how to throw them already. So when you go to this out-of-town course or this course that your buddies say, Hey, man, come on, let's go play this course. Then you step up on the tee pad and you go, Man... All my, all my holes in my courses are like 300 foot. This is a 600 foot hole. I don't know what to do. Break the hole down. You know, say it's a 600 foot dog leg right. You know, the first 300 foot is just like hole whatever number at the course that you always play at. So you know you can throw that shot on this hole and get you up to the corner. You get up to the corner, you look at the basket, you're like, oh, this is hole blah, 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 for blah, blah, blah. And you pick, take this disc and you throw that shot. You already have built the confidence in throwing your, your disc on these holes that you've probably played a dozen times each. Why not take that knowledge and move them to other courses? Yes, the holes are going to vary slightly. The distance, you know, it might be 360 instead of 330. But you'll be able to get, you know, at least the basic concept of the hole right away without having to sit there for an hour throwing each other all the holes. You can just you, you take the knowledge that you build up from all the courses that you played, and you just throw it to the other courses. You you've you've thrown the shot. You've probably thrown the shot hundreds of times if you're a really avid disc golfer. And why not use that information on other courses? So that's just a quick tip today. And I I really I really do use it even when I went up to Michigan. And yes, the, the elevation really throws things off. But a lot of my upshots, I was like, man, that's whole blah 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 at sunset, or that's whole blah 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 at Milton. And I just, I knew what to do on my shots that I just, and I never played there before. So, it's helped me out a lot. It's helped some friends out a lot. Maybe it'll help you out, you a lot. Let me know, have you ever approached the, uh, the, uh, the tee box like that or up shots like that? Uh, you, you can get in some funny places when you throw a bad shot. And you might find a part of the course that you've never seen before. <laughs> but if you can take that mentality of, I play this hole with this disc. And this looks just like it or pretty darn close. I know I can throw this disc. Take that mentality into it, and I think you'll improve your scores, and it'll make disc golfing on new courses a lot easier for you guys. So uh, that's a quick tip for today. I will uh, see you guys later in the week. We got some full turn disc reviews coming out, and uh, follow me on Facebook because we have the MVP winners going to be announced this week. And uh, yeah, guys, until next time, take it easy.